Let's talk about two gases. One is a yes and one is a no during surgery, bowel surgery. So if they're doing bowel surgery, the anesthesia personnel are not going to use nitrous oxide. And the reason for that is nitrous oxide likes free open spaces and it's readily absorbed by the bowel. So as a result, the bowel will start absorbing that nitrous oxide and then it will start dilating. And as it dilates, you're going to lose your field of vision and your working space. So that will be avoided by anesthesia. The other gas that's used in bowel surgery, well, any laparoscopic procedure, is carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide obviously is the choice because they want to use something that is non-combustible. Um, and carbon dioxide is not, so it's safe because then you can use your bovi and whatever other heated element that you want to on the inside. But I had a surgeon that I worked with that had done a study or had looked at a study and his theory was that the patients are not always uncomfortable after these laparoscopic surgeries because of uh, what I used to be told was the, the phrenic nerve would be stimulated on the diaphragm and then they'd get that left shoulder pain. He also believed that it was the carbon dioxide and the irritation of that that would make these patients uncomfortable. And if you think of that, it makes sense because you think about your carbonated drinks with the carbon dioxide in them that makes the bubbles and the fizz. If you try and hold a carbonated drink in your mouth for very long, you know how it's uncomfortable. B bubbles and fizzes in your mouth starts feeling uncomfortable and you have to swallow it. Well, imagine if this is sitting inside our abdomen and for a couple hours and having that um, irritating effect. So if possible, at the end of the procedure, it's really nice to be able to suck it out and get as much out as you can. And the other thing that is helpful for these patients is if it's, uh, if it's heated air. And they do have some systems do have the heated air for the, for the abdomens. The other thing that you would want to suck out, which we spoke about earlier, is you want to suck out the smoke because there are toxins that are released when you um, are cauterizing tissue on the inside that can make them feel worse post-op too.